The evangelist Vincent, an anointed man of God who has been called to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God with clarity and to heal the sick and the oppressed. And he gave you authority to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, yes. and to cast out devils. Yes. We will preach the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ as he ordained us to do. And if we believe in that name, then we lay hands on the sick. Welcome, my friends. We are here in Nairobi, Kenya, in a slum area. And what the Lord has been doing is amazing. So please join me tonight in Nairobi, where the glory of God is descending upon the people. God bless you. Tonight, be expecting. Be expecting, my friends. For Jesus is already in our midst. And His Holy Spirit. I'm reading to you from the book of John, chapter 8, tonight. Lord, I thank you that the Holy Spirit will utter the words. This is one of my favorite stories in the Bible. I read for you. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning, he came again in the temple. And all the people came unto him. And he sat down. And he taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees, they brought unto him a woman that was taken in the act of adultery. And they said unto Jesus, Master, this woman has been caught in the very act of adultery. And they said, Moses, in the law commands that such should be stoned to death. But what sayest thou? They said this tempting him that they might accuse him. There is this woman. She was caught in the act of adultery. The religious Pharisees the religious people bound by the rules grab this poor soul they throw her in the middle of the temple the woman is lying on the stony ground already being put to shame in the middle of the temple, everybody's sitting around. And they tempted Jesus. But Jesus Christ did this. He stooped down. And he began to write in the sand for the stony ground and sand was covering the temple in them days and he rose and he said let him without sin cast the first stone our 
And again he stooped down. And continued writing. He wrote in such a way in Hebrew just like the finger of God touched the stones that Moses held and the finger of Almighty God wrote the Ten Commandments in Hebrew on those tablets on those stony tablets and just as Jesus is about to show grace and what it means to live under grace everybody now sees the Ten Commandments written in the sand the words of Jesus Christ still echoing in their ears let him without sin cast the first hole and they began to read thou shall not steal thou shall not kill thou shall keep the Sabbath day and keep it holy and as they went down the ten the Bible says they were convicted in their heart and from the eldest downwards they begin to walk out their heads bowed and they began to leave the temple and Jesus he looked up and he says woman where are thine thou accusers and the woman replied and said Lord they are all gone and Jesus says neither do I condemn you for the Bible says for God sent not his son into the world to condemn but that the world through him might be saved saved from what saved from the wrath of God that has to release a punishment upon sin for he is holy the angels cry oh they holy 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 and he cannot stand sin but when Jesus saw this woman thrown in the midst of that temple he already knew that a short time from then he would take that sin of adultery on the cross of Calvary Hill as he saw her being put to shame he knew that soon he'll be carrying her cross he'll be carrying her sin and take the judgment for that sin upon his own self and that's why he didn't come to condemn but that we might be saved grace a loving God 
still reaching out to you and me today. Whatever the sin is that you committed, you committed adultery, you stole. Maybe you blasphemed or you murdered. But if a man or a woman truly repents and surrenders their own life completely to Jesus who rose on the third day to be our Lord forevermore then it is Jesus who can and only Jesus who can create a new heart that's why the Bible says we must be born again and you truly be a different person a new creation in Christ Hallelujah. For God loves you. And Jesus took that punishment. So that we don't have to. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 but the gift of God is eternal life. A life everlasting. And Jesus says that when you confess his sin, your sins unto him and ask him to forgive you and he is faithful and just to do so. He said if you confess your sins and repent turn away completely from that sin and surrender that self so Jesus becomes Lord indeed of your life you deny yourself and you follow Jesus he says I will not remember the sin against you ever again They'll be thrown in the deepest ocean. Never to be reminded against you again. Oh, hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Shout amen. Because what Jesus did was amazing. The next thing that Jesus said in that temple he said I am the light of the world and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness shall not walk in sin shall be a new creation but shall have the light of the world because he is the light of the world in him there is no darkness Isaiah says that this world is becoming darker Isaiah prophesied in chapter 60 that darkness shall cover the earth and great darkness the people because of that darkness coming upon this world and gross darkness upon the people we need to follow the light of the world and receive his light to give us life everlasting 
and expel darkness. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. For you are an awesome God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For going to Calvary's hill. Out of your own free will. For denying yourself. And to do the will of the Father. So that we might be saved. Let there be no mistake about it. God is a loving God. But God is a righteous judge. A righteous judge is not corrupt. So a righteous judge has to punish sin. Just like a righteous judge has to punish a murderer. But Jesus, he came to take your sentence if you lay your life down for him. That means it's no longer about yourself, but it's about Jesus. And you live in him, denying self and following him. That's a gracious God. That's a loving God. That's the God that was healing last night. That's the God that was bringing freedom to captives last night. If my people repent, if my people allow me to create in them a new heart, the nice self and follow me, I will heal their sickness, says the Lord. I will set them free from darkness, says the Lord. I will fill their baskets with fruit, says the Lord. They shall not lack joy, peace, abundant life, freedom. They shall not lack. Jesus says, I am a righteous king. A benevolent king. And in my kingdom, I will look after my people. In my kingdom, nobody will lack. Jesus says, for I love my children. I love my brethren. I will look after them. I will love them. I will heal their broken heart. I will remove that sickness. For Jesus says, I took it already. Before I even went to the cross. I healed you. And I came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus says, I made an open show of, of powers and principalities. Any evil spirit is subject to Jesus Christ. I bind every evil spirit and I come against sickness and disease in the name of Jesus and I speak life into your soul I speak healing into your body I speak freedom unto your spirit for tonight 
I believe you will see that God is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. Hallelujah. Are you in the kingdom? Are you in the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is accessible today. You don't have to die to go to the kingdom. That is the greatest misinterpretation of scripture. Jesus says repent for the kingdom of God has arrived. My beloved brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God has arrived. You can make the step today. You can experience the kingdom life today. And you will be born again. And you will have eternal life from that moment. For in the kingdom there is no death. There is no death. There is many people that have one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom. Jesus calls them lukewarm. They are neither hot nor cold. Let it be known that Jesus will spit them out of his mouth. The book of James calls them double-minded. They haven't made a choice. They're destroying it. No, when you repent, the life after that should indeed be like the Bible says, you are no longer of the world, but you are of the kingdom. You just live in the world, but you are no longer of the world, for you are born again. The first time you was born in the world, through the womb of your mother. But if you repent and surrender all to Jesus Christ, by His grace and through faith you can be born again. Experience the second birth. But this time, you are born of the Spirit. And when you are born of the Spirit, you know that you have been changed. As much as you cannot deny the first birth, as much you cannot deny the second birth, you know that you are born and you will know that you are born again. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. I'm asking only once. Right now, you can make the choice to repent and to choose to be born again of the Spirit of God to enter the kingdom. 
and the light of the world, Jesus Christ, he will expel all darkness in your life. Even if you're watching now, come off the chair or the sofa and stand up. And pray with us. Speak out loud after him. So let's pray. Father, shout out loud after him. I repent. I will go and sin no more. I turn away. Today. From sin. And I receive. Forgiveness. For my sins. Wash me with your precious blood that you shed for me so that I don't have to be judged. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you, Lord Jesus. And confess you as the Lord and Savior of my life. I promise to live by your word. Not my will, but your will. And I forgive those that have sinned against me. Lord, touch my heart. Create in me a new heart. Let me know that I know that today I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. Left my sinful life behind. And live the kingdom of God life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I renounce Satan and the kingdom of darkness. Witchcraft, blood covenants, bloodshed, blood sacrifices. And all the sins and iniquity of my forefathers. I renounce that. Lord, separate me from that. Lord, cut the ungodly ties. Lord, take your sword.
and cut me loose. From the forces of darkness. Lord, separate them from the sins of their forefathers. Say, I renounce every curse that has come upon my life. I renounce curses spoken over my life. I reject and renounce infirmity and sickness. In the name of Jesus, I break the curse of the law. Because I believe right now healing is breaking out. Right now deliverance is coming to me. And I bind witchcraft. I come against those vows and oaths made. Lord, take your sword and cut all demonic ties between body, soul, and spirit. Sever me from the demonic. Sever me from generational sickness. Heal my heart of all the rejection. Feeling nobody wants me. I break the curse of rejection. And I break the curse of abuse. Holy Spirit, come unto me now. Holy Spirit, help me to go to the point of the pain and heal me right there. That incident I've never really gotten over. When I was beaten or tortured. When I was abused or rejected or left all alone. Holy Spirit now. I give you my pain. Close your eyes. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I give you my pain. I give you my sorrow. Divine soul and spirit, and I lay aside that which is soul. Holy Spirit, Hebrews 4.13. Anything that is not of God, bring up the one that God wants to judge now. 
Holy Spirit, take over completely. The one that God wants to judge. I arrest you in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, smite. 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 Holy Ghost, smite. Now begin to smite. Begin to smite. The one that God wants to judge, I bring you forth. Get up. The one that God wants to judge, get up. In the name of Jesus. You are exposed by the light of the world. Right now, I command those demons to leave. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, let your fire fall. Let your fire fall right now. Fire. Fire. Holy Spirit. Arrest every spirit that is not of God. Infirmity, I come against you right now. I release the fire of Almighty God and the Holy Ghost upon you right now. In Jesus' name, angels of God, begin to touch them, begin to search them, begin to examine them right now. Say this, this is important. Everything that has given Satan a right to my body, to my soul, to my spirit, I renounce it now and I break the curse. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I command. And I command. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every foul evil spirit. Every foul spirit. Every evil spirit. Every evil spirit. Get out of me. Get out of me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. By the finger of God, I cast out devils. Holy Ghost, bring up the one that God wants to judge. Bring up the strong man and smite, Holy Ghost. Smite in the name of Jesus. And let fire baptism come upon her. Satan, come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every devil, as every legal right has been broken and destroyed and renounced and rejected, leave this daughter of the Most High God now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for filling her now with the love of God the Father. A love that casts out all fear. A love that will enable her to forgive the evildoers. Thank you for healing her and setting her free. Rabusata, non dolorabocata. Fire of the Holy Spirit is here tonight. Holy Ghost, precious Holy Ghost. Begin to move upon your people. I love to share with you everything that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings is doing all over the world. You know I'm an evangelist, and it is my passion to win souls that are lost. I'm now back in the capital of Sierra Leone, where we did a crusade, a campaign last night, and tonight is the second night. But the three days that I was in the East, we saw over 500 people recorded the decision for Jesus Christ for the very first time. They renounced their other faith, and they renounced their ways of sin and they came and surrendered their lives to Jesus. For the will of God is for none to perish, but for all to come to repentance. And we saw that greatest miracle of all, salvation coming to pass. This is a land, of course, with a history of bloodshed, 
and many other nations in Africa, and they need the power of deliverance. Jehovah is the healer, and he proves his word, and we give the glory to Jesus. Keep me in this field, because together and only together, we can do it for Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, and I need your help. Keep me in the field for bigger and larger and longer crusades all over Africa, all over Asia, all over every part, every city, the Lord sends me in Jesus' name.